I talk about starting the engine prior to the flight. Like with any other phase of flight, we want to use our checklist. We're going to start with our before starting engine checklist. So our pre-flight inspection is complete. We're finished with that. We're going to check and make sure our seat belts are, are on and tight. Okay. We want to make sure our fuel selector valve is on both. We have two tanks of fuel. We can turn them on on either side or off. We want to make sure that that is up and on so that's on both tanks. All right. We make sure that our avionics power and our electrical system is all off. We don't want to start the engine with any electrical power on so that we don't overload any of our radios. So we want to make sure that our avionics power switch is off and that all our electrical, except for this beacon, is on. We leave this beacon on to indicate to anyone on the ramp that we're starting our engine. Okay. All right. We want to test our brakes. The brakes are on the rudder pedals down by your feet. And their brake pedals are actuated by pushing your toes. So pushing forward with your toes will actuate your brakes. There's a brake on each wheel. We also want to check our circuit breakers just to make sure that nothing is popped open so that all our electrical equipment is functioning properly. All right, now we'll start the engine. We're gonna make sure our mixture is rich. This controls the amount of fuel going to the engine. So we're gonna make sure that's full forward or rich so we have the most fuel going to the engine. Next thing we wanna make sure is that our carburetor heat is cold. So this plunger should be in for a carburetor heat. The master switch will come on. That's this red switch over on this side. So this puts electrical to the aircraft. Next thing we're gonna do is prime. We're gonna take this plunger, pull it out, and what we're doing is atomizing fuel directly into the engine cylinders, into two of the cylinders. This will aid in getting the engine started. Close that and lock it, give it a tug to make sure that it is locked. Now we're going to put the ignition key into the ignition. We're going to hold the brakes. We're going to keep our eyes outside. We're going to call, clear the propeller area to make sure no one is standing near the engine. We call clear prop. Hand on the throttle, feet on the brakes, and we'll go ahead and turn the key to start the engine. Yeah, of course, it's not going to start on the first time. 